Hi, my name's Cece and I'm here with Teach Me Music TV and I'm going to be teaching you my super vocal warm-up hacks today. So our vocals is like a muscle and we need to warm up before we do any heavy lifting with it before a gig or just when we're having a sing in the shower really. So you wouldn't go to the gym and you wouldn't weight lift before warming up so it's the same with our voice. So I'm going to go through some basic vocal warm-up sounds that you can do easy today. So sometimes the reason we don't warm up is because we're either doing too complicated of things or you feel like you don't have enough time or they're boring or we're just lazy. So we're going to start with some humming today. It's very easy, everyone can hum and we're just going to start nice and low down here. So lips together and we're just going to do a gentle hum on a Try that with me, here we go. Raising. Make sure your lips are buzzing. Don't push too hard. Great. So, if your lips are buzzing, you're doing absolutely right. We're just awakening that sound. The next sound we're going to do is something called lip trills. Now, lip trills are really great because they kind of take all the pressure off our larynx and our throat. So, if you struggle with lip trills, a good tip is to just put your index fingers on your cheeks. So, we're just going to go. You'll feel really silly doing it, but I promise you, it's like the most relaxing thing for your throat. So, lip trills. Two, three. Great. Lip trills are great for getting breath flow going because we have to push a little bit more air through to make our lips kind of move. So the next thing we're going to do is called puffer fish. This is about creating this back pressure in our kind of mouth here. So we're kind of creating a resistance which is going to open up our vocal tract. So you're going to feel silly again, but don't worry, you're probably on your own, no one's watching. So you're going to blow out your cheeks and fill them with air. Just like that, I'm going to create sound. Now there is more air to tone ratio in this. So it sounds like this. Again, don't push too hard. We're still warming up. We're not, we're not quite there yet. Here we go. Two, three, four. You should feel like a lot of space in your kind of mouth in that one there. Number four, tongue bite. So what we're going to do is kind of almost like the same feeling as a hum, but we're just going to place our tongue gently in between our teeth and it sounds like this. So kind of getting a nasal cavity working here. Now this is going to release tongue tension. To release it, you can also massage your tongue root. So you can just get your thumbs and you can kind of press into that bit there, not too hard, just gently doing that. So this is tongue bite. Mm should feel some movement now here in your larynx too. Number five, the NG, which is an mm sound. And this is my favorite one because this kind of leads on to, especially females, working on your mix, which is kind of like your head voice with loads of twang, and it makes it sound like you're doing this amazing belt. There will be more videos on that, but this is such a good warm up for us. 
So we have an ng mm sound. So imagine you were saying nun, ng. Mm. No, it's the same kind of like placement on the n. So I'm finding that my tip of my tongue is at the, I'm gonna put it at the bottom, behind my bottom teeth, and I'm gonna push the back of my tongue up to the roof of my mouth. This is gonna kind of create a blockage in the mouth so that our sound goes up through the nose. So you get this like mmm, mmm kind of sound. So, starting quite low. Here we go. Two, three, four. Great. As the higher we go with that, the more nasal it sounds. When we get to this, like. That sound is coming up my nose because you can hear it if I release the tongue just a little bit. Which is adding loads of twang there. So the mm is such a good one. Number six, we have wee oo. Now, not only does this wake up our facial muscles, but it also focuses on a forward sound. Now we've got difference between forward and backward sounds. I'm going to talk about that in another video. Um, but it's kind of mind over matter. So when you feel like you're really struggling for those notes, if you just kind of think forward on those big long notes instead of back, it will release so much tension here. So, wee oo, it sounds like this. Wee oo, wee oo, wee oo, wee oo, wee. We're gonna do this one a little slower so you can really get those facial muscles moving from each placement. So we're looking at a really smiley E on the wee and an oo, a really focused kind of direct sound going forward. Two, three, four. We you we you we you we we good. We you we you we you we you we we you we you we you we you we we you we you we you we you we we you we you we you we you we we you we you we you we you we you. I often find with that one, the longer it goes on, the more tired my muscles get on my face, and I get lazy. So just be careful on that. Really slow it down and really just focus on that forward sound on the wee oo wee oo wee. Really placing that there. Number seven, this is an oo and this is creating space in our mouth. Oo. Not kind of like a really tight oo kind of sound, really small. We're oo. So there's no tension here in our face. Oo. Don't push your lips out. Don't give me that kind of like Instagram, Snapchat, duck kind of face. We don't want that. We want a really relaxed face. Two, three, four. Great, that one should sound really full. Um, I'll talk about round sounds later on. So number eight, we're almost there. I'm gonna, at the end, show you all of them in succession of each other, working up the scale. So this is a ya. Ja. This is in preparation for our ah uh, sound, our open, the most open vowel sound, the best sounding one for all those big notes. So ya, ja, and it's also gonna wake up our facial muscles a bit more. So we've got ya, 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 ya. Ready? Two, three, four. Ya 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 good ya 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 good you don't want it to feel like you're shouting if you feel like you have some tension here you're probably overblowing a bit too much and you don't need to do that. Relax, go back a few and just kind of really nail in that kind of relaxed kind of sound, especially if you go back to number seven on the ooh, ooh before hitting the ya. Number nine, which is la. This is gonna be separating our tongue and our jaw from our jaw. So la, 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 la. This is the most kind of famous one, I guess you could say. It's the one we always go vocal warm-ups. La, 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 la. 
that one. So, la, make it a really nice flicky la. We have two different kinds of L's. Uh, we have the love, which is a forward L, and then we have the all, all, which is our backward L. We're doing the forward one, so really get that tongue kind of moving forward. So, la, two, three, four. La, 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 la. Keep it bright. La, 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 la. you should be filling the room that you're in with sound don't kind of just sing to about this far in front of you because you're kind of just not fully warming up everything that you've got if you're just singing to here we want to fill the space that we're in so our last one are ah, the most open sound which makes it the most challenging to kind of control so we're going to go ah now to change pitch here, all that's happening is our larynx is just moving up and then down. Okay, so there's a lot of control needed here. So this is kind of where we've built up all the strength in our muscles for this one. So we're gonna try on an R. You've got this. Here we go. Two, three, four. Ah, breathe. Ah, relax that jaw. Ah. So what I'm going to do now for you is I'm going to sing all 10 of them kind of um, ascending up the scale. So we have humming, we have our lip trills, we have our puffer fish, we have tongue bite, we have the mmm kind of sound, we have the wee oo sound, we have the oo sound, the ya, the la and the ah. So we're going to now do that all in one. So here we go, starting with humming. Lip trills. Puffer fish. Tongue bite. NG. Dropping down an octave. You go up, if it starts to feel like there's tension, you can always jump down an octave. For those more kind of classically trained singers, I would recommend going up and keep going up into your top register. For us kind of like beginners, we want to just kind of keep it really low, really relaxed, and really work in that chest voice, which is kind of the same register as your speaking voice, just to start with. I hope you've enjoyed this video today with Teach Me Music TV. I've been Cece, and I hope you found this vocal warm-up hacks exercise useful for you. So please like and subscribe to this video and comment. Tell me what you found useful if you've never tried a certain exercise before. I want to hear from you guys. Um, to keep up to date with everything that we're doing here at Teach Me Music TV, just follow us on all our social media pages. 
So the list, the linked below. And for more tips on warming up or singing hacks or riffs breakdown, vocal placement, or anything you've got singing wise, just kind of uh, stay tuned with Teach Me Music TV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can I do it again? <laughs> okay. Ugh. I'm trying not to look at it, but like. I hope you've enjoyed this video with Teach Me Music TV. I've been Cece. Like and subscribe to this video and comment. Let me know what you found useful. If there was a particular exercise that you've never done before that you found really worked or if you have some other vocal warm-ups that you think are really useful and placements. To keep up to date with Teach Me Music TV, follow us on all of our social medias. They're listed below in this video. Uh, and follow me for more hacks on singing, tips,